screaming to like feel better but i don't feel good today i don't feel myself today a question was asked yesterday and i'm still pondering on that question and the question was you have so much potential and i don't know why you are still here <laughs> oh my god i wanted to cry i really did um Everybody who meets me, I get them a hard time getting to know me. A lot of people that start to get to know me, I push them away. <laughs> when people start to get to know me, they realize that I'm a good person. They realize that I'm very smart, I'm very genuine, and I'm a lot of different things. And when I tell them, like, I wasn't supposed to be here, or what I really want to do, they're like, you have no kids, you work, <laughs> you have no girlfriend, no nothing. Why are you still here? And I wanted to do a story time about that to answer that question for once and for all. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do. And maybe me doing this story time, I'll post it up sometime this week. And maybe me doing this story time will help me. I don't know what it's going to do, but I need to do something. I do realize me sometimes. Because, like, okay, before I used to vlog a lot. Um, and a lot of the vlogs used to be very, very negative in a sense that I didn't want to post them because it was not me. I was going through a lot of different things. And this whole entire year, like, you guys probably see maybe, what, 50 vlogs up or something like that. This whole entire year, I've been vlogging since January 1st. Since January 1st, I haven't posted not now vlog. I had a vlog that I wanted to post of me in my car. Um, because I had just got my car this year. Um, I wanted to post a vlog about um, me buying tickets for um, VidCon, because I was supposed to go to VidCon this year. I didn't go to VidCon this year. Uh, <laughs> there was a lot of great stuff that either was going to happen, that had happened, and some of that that didn't make it to the vlogs because I didn't want to seem like I was just, like, making stuff up, you know? Um, I still have the vlog for me to... Um, when I had um, went to get my car and stuff like that, it was so fun. It was so much fun. Uh, my mom was cracking on my head and everything. It was the cutest thing ever. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> like, a lot of stuff do not make it to me. I don't even know if y'all see me. But uh, I got lazy. <laughs> a lot of stuff do not make it to my vlogs because, um, in the beginning, I was going through a lot of negative stuff. Now that's kind of, like, going away and I'm working towards better things. But, um, yeah, there's, like, so many things I want to share with you guys. There's so many things that I wanted to do. Uh, but, mm, just too much, too much, too much, too much, too much. And then, on top of that, um, like, I brought up the vlogs because, um, going on, like, I feel like vlogs or me vlogging is, like, a diary, I guess. But it actually helps me, um... I don't want to say feel better or get better, but it helps me, um, like, um, I can't even think of the word right now. <laughs> it helps me get over things. It helps me vent. It helps me, like, go back. Like, I still got some of the vlogs. Uh, I think I showed it in one of my vlogs last month or something like that. Or maybe I'll show it today when I get home. But um, vlogs really helped me come a long way. And me going back and watching those vlogs, because I still got so many that I haven't watched yet. Me going back to watch some of those vlogs, like, I've grown so much since then. 
Like, I, I see myself growing every day and becoming stronger and becoming a better person and becoming better at whatever it is that I want to become better at. Like, my vlogs before used to suck. <laughs> I mean, they still kind of like, eh, they ain't all what I want them to be yet. But I'm working towards that. Um, that was kind of awkward. The guy was, like, staring at me, and it was, like, the most awkward situation ever. He was parked right here in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> it was and he was just staring at me talking. It was just so awkward. And then he smiled a little bit. Like, I was like, okay. <laughs> Do I smile back? Do I not smile back? Like, it's so awkward sometimes. Vlogging can be awkward sometimes. Um, anyways, <laughs> that threw me completely off. But, um, what was I saying? I know I was talking about vlogs and how they helped me. And I was saying something else before. But... I feel like maybe I should watch this video and see what I was talking about. <laughs> walk it, walk it, walk it. <laughs> okay, I'm back. Yes, I'm home. I'm in my room. When I was talking to you guys earlier, I was definitely, definitely, definitely at work. And um, <laughs> I know you guys knew that. But I was on break and I had to go back. So that's why I didn't. Um, finish what I was saying, but what I was saying was, <laughs> the suspect of me getting lost in my words and all that stuff, what I was saying was vlogging, and I feel like um, if I also start doing story times and things like that, I did one, it was more of a car talk, but I feel like if I start doing more of those, I can start reflecting on my life and growing from it, because when I watch my old vlogs that I haven't posted, um, I look back on how much I've snapped, but I also look back and I see how much I've grown. I, I also look back and I see how much, like, things have changed around me. And I went from, like, being a passenger in my mom's car and her taking me to work all the time to having my own car and driving my own stuff to work. And me feeling, like, stuck and stuff like that. And now, um, like, you know, if I need to go out, like, if I'm free from work <laughs> and I, and I can do it, and then I'll, like, go to Lake Eola and I'll have a fun time there and, you know, I'll be at peace. And i have my first experience doing this and i have my first experience doing that. Or, like, me and my family will go ice skating or something like that. I just, you know, have that freedom to do that. So, I do see, like, even though I didn't post the whole entire year, but I started posting some things towards the end of the year because I felt ready. Um... I do see like the difference um, with me growing and being able to reflect back on those vlogs. So that's one of the main reasons why I wanted to start vlogging besides like showing you guys my first and things like that. Uh, <clears throat> there's some other stuff. I jotted some stuff down because I, I, when I was in, at work, I, I had a little, little tan. And then um, I caught myself saying something about like a lot of my vlogs are negative or something like that. All of them weren't negative, but there were a lot of them negative and a lot dealing with, like, um, some things I was going through at the time. Uh, I still go through a lot of stuff. Um, everything is negative in my life. I do have a lot of positivity going on in my life, but uh, I want to clear that up. <laughs> and um, I was talking about what vlogging was for me. And I didn't really say it, but vlogging is a release for me. Um, I'm very, very quiet. And I'm very, very to myself for the most part, but I do feel like I express myself a lot more in my vlogs than I would in person. But sometimes I do express myself in person, but like, I'm one of those type of people that's weird. Like I'm an introvert, but an extrovert at the same time. Like I'm an extrovert when I'm like being goofy and petty and stuff like that. But I'm more of an introvert when it comes to like who... Well, not really who I truly am, because sometimes, like, me being paid and stuff, that's really who I am. But, <laughs> this is like, it's like, it goes back and forth. Like, there's a, there's a lot of times where I'm very, very quiet, and I'm to myself, and I keep, like, like, I'm very, very, I don't want to say high strong, but I'm very, very focused as, as to what it is that I need to do. So, um... I pretty much focus on that stuff and I kind of like take heed to that and try to make sure that I'm working towards that. And that's why I'm always saying work towards your dreams and stuff like that because I do that personally. And it's not always with financial wise because I feel like finances that could probably could help me a lot. <laughs> but it's not always in that sense. It could be like working towards my dream as in me being a better person because there was a time where I was like spazzing out and I would like, be very, very angry, and I would be quick quick to bust somebody over the head with something, but I've changed so much since I was a little kid and stuff like that. And, <laughs> but sometimes I do catch myself wanting to do things like that. Don't, don't. 
I didn't. I, I need to edit that part out. I'm, I'm probably gonna keep that in there though. Cause anyway, but yeah, like <laughs> I see myself changing for the better and going into the right direction and the right path that I want my life to be. Like I promised myself when I was a kid that I'll always be true to who I am or true to who I will become. Because you know people change every day and you change every day. Every second you change. So um, I promised myself to do that and I really strive to do that every single day and every single moment of my life and sometimes I catch myself and like I join the pettiness or I join the bullying or something like that or well, not really the bullying because I've if somebody if I ever if you feel like I ever bullied you I'm sorry I, I'm that's not me but um <clears throat> Like, I, I catch myself being petty when it, like, it's not necessary to be petty. Like, when people come in for me, like, I feel like that I have every right to get at them. But sometimes, like, I really try to focus on, like, okay, you're above this. And it's like how Obama and Michelle Obama will say, when they go low, you go high. Or something like that. Or something like that. But, yeah, I try to be like that. <laughs> and that's it. That's it. But I just wanted to clear that up because, like, I felt, like, all, all over the place and I wasn't really comfortable speaking like that. I was being watched vlogging and I was kind of awkward a little bit. <laughs> um, but, yeah, um, that's it. That's it for this vlog. I know it's kind of long. I know I'm trying to keep them very, very short. I will see what I can do. Uh, if I don't, I'm sorry. But this is long and there's a lot of information here. <laughs> but... Uh, before I go, I want to say what I always say, and that is work towards your dreams. And uh, I've given you, I've given you an example as to how I do it, even though it's not always working towards my dream. Like, well, I do that. You, you just don't see it, but I do it. <laughs> work towards your dreams. Kill off those leeches, because the leeches will, they will deteriorate your brain. They'll make you think like things um, in your life that you think are going wrong, and they're really going right. It, it's God's time, and it's God's way of like getting you to where you need to go like your floor plan and his floor plan for you is totally different so you know it's working in your favor you just, you just gotta kill them leeches kill them kill them leeches pray them off beat them off whatever you got to do probably not beat them off that, that that don't save a lot of people like a lot of people end up in jail beating them off see that's why i had to stop you know being that guy to lash out and just bust people over the head with like freaking chairs and books and doggone yeah so <laughs> I try to be a better person. <laughs> but uh, kill off those leeches, work towards your dreams, and be you, the positive you. Um, and, and don't get into it. Like, stay focused. Like, that's main. That's like, if you could take anything from me, staying focused is like what my biggest thing is. And that's why I always say work towards your dream. You got to stay focused when you work towards your dream. Because there's a lot of things that come in your life, and it's going to distract you and like make you think about other things and it's not really necessary and this vlog is gonna be so doggone long so yeah i probably touch more bases into that in my story time <laughs> that's coming up this week because i said i was gonna do a story time so i'm gonna do a story time and i'm just gonna keep this vlog as it is i love you guys thank you guys for rocking with me and if you are new please subscribe give this video a thumbs up i don't really ask for thumbs ups in my own vlogs because it is what it is i, I mean I, I am who i am you're gonna like me you ain't whatever but <laughs> <laughs> that's it love you guys thank you for rocking with me and vlogmas is yet to finish like there's like what seven more days my bad eight more days so we finna we finna get it okay and i can't wait till christmas because i love christmas i love being around my family so yeah that's it juice is out <laughs> until next time with some more juice juice is out <laughs>